UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. I think climate change is going to be the defining issue of the 21st century. Wetter winters, drier summers. This year is a dress rehearsal for climate change, right? This is what Amy Snover does best, bringing climate education and literacy to classrooms and communities. In February 2015, Snover was a featured panelist in Washington, D.C. Amy Snover, Assistant Dean for Applied Research at the University of Washington. It was part of being honored as a White House champion of change. They're a select group of innovators doing extraordinary things in their community. We know that the choices that we're making today about both energy use and preparing for future risks are going to shape um, our, our very future. Some of us are going to... Snover is equally at home in a classroom, where she's often a guest lecturer. She shares with students the kind of knowledge she's given policymakers in her role as director of the University of Washington's Climate Impacts Group. We're a group of you know, climate scientists, hydrologists, um, policy people with policy and local government background. Snover helps policymakers understand and use scientific data so they can respond to climate risks. We expect less snowpack because it's getting warmer, changes in timing of natural water availability, increased fire risk, sea level rise, lots and lots of changes across the region. Where do we locate valuable transportation infrastructure? How wide are the bridges? What kinds of floods can they cope with? How big are the culverts? How much climate change we experience? She told the students that the decisions involving where to build infrastructure have consequences that can be felt years, even decades later. An example, power lines that were built in an area vulnerable to wildfires. So there's the Metau Valley, has one transmission line in and out. It goes over Loop Loop Pass. It burned up. Right? The valley had no power for a week or more. So we don't always remember the, the ways that these changes can impact us. Snover is often asked who or what is to blame for climate change. There is no easy answer. Can you point the finger at human-caused climate change or natural variability? The answer is we don't really know where to point the finger right now. And you probably point the finger somewhere in between because both factors are at play. We could see more years like 2015 with record high temperatures and little snowpack. We're talking about changes that are gonna unfold over the next several decades, handful of decades. So it's not as far off as people think, right? You know, like I said, by 2050, we could have a normal climate that's like this year that this could be the normal by then or sooner. So it's that co-definition. But Snover tells her audiences there are things they can do. We have a choice about what kind of a climate change we want to have occur, and that's a choice we make every day with um, our greenhouse emissions and our behavior. We also have a really, really important choice about whether we have our eyes wide open for the changes that we've set in motion whether we're thinking about what they mean and getting ready for them. And that's what our science aims to improve. <laughs>